सो हाई एवरी वन माइन यू बुक लैंच इन इन योर पॉकेट बिगनेस गाइड टू बिल्डिंग जेन एप्लीकेशन इजिंग एल एल एम्स इज आउट नॉन एमेजॉन द बुक इज ऑलरेडी अ बेस्ट सेलर ऑन एमेजॉन बेस्ट सेलर सो गो ग्रैब योर कॉपीज इन फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे विल यू टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ एजेंट्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम चेंज इन लैंग चेन सो दिस इज एन एक्सेप्ट दैट आर आई टेक इन फ्रॉम माई लेटेस्ट बुक लैंग चेन इन योर पॉकेट so let's get started so i am assume that you already have a base understanding what are chains and agents so chains can be considered as short programs that are written around llms to perform certain tasks like for example auto sql generation like uh, in that case you have a chain that helps you to write sql uh, queries given a database so how agents are different from chains so as i have mentioned in my book agents can be taken as a upgraded version of chains so let's understand the difference between the two in uh, the actions in a chain are hard coded and need to follow predefined sequence like for example if you assume a problem statement as given assume we have a chain that can fetch data from internet and prepare fake csvs right now in that case if you have a, a chain object for this how it would be working uh, understand the data required for the input hit the internet and fetch data Pre-process this raw data, organize a CSV and store. Now these are the four steps that the chain should be following. Now the major problem with chains is that these are hard-coded steps. Now, for example, if by chance I input hi dude or hi agent, hi robot, so in that case, following these four steps is not is not possible, right? Because now the course of action has changed. In that case, a chain a, a object will break. So a chain uh, built for generating fake data sets. will cater only fake data sets right nothing else don't expect to be a conversational bot, uh, bot also but this is not the case with agents so in agents what happens is that the actions are not hard coded they are decided by the llm ki whether i should be doing this action or not and these actions are present as tools as i've already explained in a previous video so the llm decide which tool should i be using given a problem now at times you might not be requiring a tool also as in this case if you have an agent for the same uh, task like creating fake csv file and which should be following these four steps only in that case if you give a hi dude prompt eventually the bot will start chatting with you so as you can see they are very very flexible they they will decide depending upon the prompt what action to be taken rather than hard coding everything now there is a limitation with chains and hence chains have a little shallow scope as compared to agents now um, one more important difference is that agents are more versatile you can attach a number of custom tools that are varied in nature like one tool can be digging from youtube the other tool can be creating a retrieval qa chain the other tool can be digging from wikipedia the other tool can be saving files so an agent can do a lot of things which are not hard coded and can serve you the general purpose inquiries also this is not the case with agents so if your use case is a uh, very standard it doesn't it is almost repeated chains can be a go to tool but if your use case is diverse at times you might be expecting unexpected outputs inputs and you want to have multiple variety of third party tools with yourself agents are the best solution to have but they are a little complex to understand to build now agents like auto gpt bbj also internally are some sort of an agent only right but they are not chains because chains as i told you are hard coded 